back to the electron C model a little bit. Metals have low ionization energies, and so um, the electrons are fairly easy to be removed from an individual atom, which forms ions. So here we have sodium ion, and one of, one of its electrons is out here in this blue part, like an ocean. So we could think of the sodium metal as being an array of these positively charged ions surrounded by negative electrons. So there's, there's a negative electron out here for each of these guys, and they're swimming around. The metal holds together because the positive ions are attracted to this sea of electrons and it all sticks together. So this model explains conductivity because the electrons in that sea are free to move. So these electrons are not attached to a specific atom anymore. They're able to move and that's why we get conductivity of metals. It also explains the malleability and ductility of, of metals. You can hit a metal with a hammer and it'll dent, it won't shatter because this is a very non-directional attraction. And so, you know, you put a bunch of pressure over here and you can just cause this part to squish down. It's not gonna just break off. And then I don't know why this is in the, uh, the electron C model section, but there it is. Oops, come on, there you are. Um, so this is kind of cool, I'm not gonna test you on this, but you know, we hear a lot about the ozone layer, right? And things that break up the ozone layer and, and what's going on with that. The ozone, is, ozone layer is great because it shields us from a lot of ultraviolet radiation. Oxygen has a double bond, ozone, that's one we looked at earlier. It's got bonds that are like between single and double bonds, right? Like a bond and a half. So this UV light that comes in from the sun is strong enough to break a bond in the ozone molecule, but not in oxygen. So what happens is the ozone molecule will absorb a photon of light and break into oxygen molecules and an oxygen atom. And then those will reform ozone. So that's how the ozone layer protects us from ultraviolet radiation.